Uh, yeah, my name is uh, Bob Bray. Uh, my company is uh, Sinclair Harding. Uh, we're based in England uh, and we make uh, bespoke skeleton clocks. Uh, the company has been, uh, was founded in 1966 uh, by Mike Hardin and Bill Sinclair. Uh, and in 1995, uh, I took over the business. Uh, my background is engineering. Uh, I didn't know much about clocks, uh, but I soon learned how to, what makes a clock tick. Uh, I started on my own in 1995 and gradually built the business up to where we are now and we are now nine people. Uh, we work uh, mostly family, so I have my two sons, my daughter, uh, my brother, nephew, son-in-law. It's a real family business. Uh, the clocks you see here, uh, they are our designs uh, and we manufacture pretty much everything on these clocks. So they, we just maybe buy a few screws, a few pins, but everything else here from the wooden bases uh, two of the glass frames, fusee chains, bells, mainsprings, we manufacture. We also have our own plating facilities, so we're in complete control and we can plate uh, 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 platinum, gold and rose gold. Uh, the clocks are, are normally eight days, uh, spring wound, through a chain fusee. The chain fusee we manufacture in-house. The only company in the world making fusee chains. It's a 300 year old technology uh, and I feel that if we didn't make the change that skill would be lost. Uh, so all of our clocks have generally have fusee chains. A clock, the clocks that we're sort of renowned for are our, our range of Harrison C clocks. Uh, they're inspired by the great English clockmaker John Harrison and he was the first clockmaker to make a clock that would work on board a ship. So it enabled the mariners to determine longitude. Uh, the original uh, Harrison's H1, uh, as it's called, and his second piece, H2 and H3 and H4, are in the Greenwich Maritime Museum. And the H1 is still working today. We make a clock that's inspired by John Harrison, a small piece here, but we also make a three-quarter size model, which is my interpretation of Harrison's work. Uh, it stands on a, a plinth, uh, sort of it's about this wide, about this high, uh, and the whole thing rocks from side to side. It's quite a spectacle. I, unfortunately, I can't bring it to Singapore. It's too large. Other than that, uh, that that's, uh, that's about it, I think. <laughs>